The chamfer centerline tool is a great way to create 3D surfaces. With the relief selected, I get into the tool and it prompts me to select my chamfering contour. So I'm going to do that and define a height and then click OK. So here you see the result. Very nice shape. Now let's make it a little bit more challenging. I'm going to back up a step, get into the tool again, and now let's choose this shape, which has a little bit more of a shape to it. Again, you see a, a very nice, elegant shape created in just a second or two. Let's back up. Now let's try something a little bit more challenging. Let's create reliefs on these letters. And let's try putting a chamfer shape on that. Here I'm going to select this contour and I'm going to decrease the height a little bit. And in this case I'm going to define constant height because that tends to come out nice with square corners. So here in just a couple of seconds I've created a 3D surface that's completely unique and and something that is very finished looking with, with very little effort. Okay, now I want to do a little challenge that illustrates one of the reasons why I like this tool so much. I'm going to import a bitmap. Scale it up a little bit and let's vectorize it real quick. There's the results. Now I'm going to draw a profile. That looks pretty good. Okay, let's create a relief. And now I'm going to do the chamfer. There's my contour. Let's go constant height again. Maybe a little bit taller. I can even sand it once or twice. So there, in a couple of seconds, I've created a very nice 3D surface from what was originally a pretty rough piece of artwork in the bitmap. So the chamfer centerline tool is very versatile, very capable, and a very handy way to create unique artwork.